Hello and welcome to my coding session where I write a useful JavaFX application for managing XML files. So basically I am getting more and more results. Uh, let me just uh, open the whiteboard and tell you my, about my progress. So I am let me just show you first my UI. So I am at the point where I'm starting more often work actually with Java FX and let me just um, open the needed files. Okay. So I will show you first of all what I'm talking about. This is my application, kind of preview mode, and yeah, the goal, the goal, oh, the goal is today uh, to write a international internationalization option. So when the user clicks on menu lang uh, menu language, and then cho choose the right language then the language of the menu should be changed and I need to write the test first because I am doing a test driven development and let me just actually to jump on the code I'm counting the lines yeah so basically I need to write a test now, where I have my tests here, here it is, the place. So, what I need to test, um, testing if user selected German as main menu language so I need to make sure that I am actually can change the the menu text based on the user interaction with my application so uh, what kind of stuff I need to do to be able to work with this? Well, let me just quickly think. So I expect that expected language is selected. I'm actually thinking about how to explain it, what I want to need to test. So basically I'm testing my UI based on the user interactions and the behavior of my UI currently. Because I cannot call the methods directly, I need to do it in the proper way. And this works. So what I need to do, I need to start application, click on the menu and after clicking the, on the menu, I click of the, on the main menu item and then and only after that all of my main menu language are changing. So let me just think of it what I'm expecting actually uh, to compare well I need to compare the language which I get after the after the fact that I clicked on the menu and do I need to get hold of a main menu items sure but I actually done such work 
and I only need to call the appropriate method for doing all this and let me just think about another f another part of the problem user started the application user clicked on the language menu and then he clicked on the German menu item so in, to be able to test this I need first of all what I'm thinking about do I need to return some boolean value I think the best way is will be the boolean value and my evaluation I will do it throughout my method test if user selected German as my menu language selected so yeah this working with boolean is always fun so expected result is true then the actual result should be determined by the user interactions and I make it sure that it is false so now I'm getting hold of a menu So this is this is a method where I am where I'm getting values of menu names because I have done such work I just need to re reuse the code Okay, now I need to write my third equals expected actual result. And then I need to write a text which describes what my method doing. And I just put here text like German German language was not selected now I will do I will copy some code well first of all I need to get my menu list Okay, and then I need to get hold of a okay, I forgot to make some steps. Let me just write some comments. So first of all, I need to click to click on on language menu and after that click on mm, click on the language I need to click on lang uh, language menu and then click on language and then get hold of menu names and compare compare the compare the menus to the to the list to 
compare the menus with with the result from application and if the list is the same as in the main menu in the in the application then it, then it can only mean that I got my result and language can be changed as per user interaction with the program so it's not so difficult to understand user clicks on the language and after after that the menu language changing and user see the menu in the different language and this is a language which actually user has chosen to work with and this should probably work pretty well okay let's let's do that click on and here we are using method from the testfx library so how our, our menu which name use the, the menu language item it is fx id and basically I need to copy it let me just copy this and check if it works okay I forgot to put special size symbol to to notify the application now it should work okay so okay this works and then let's just click on we have two options if the user clicks on menu item jar let me just quickly copy this and then just okay it looks cool now after clicking on the jar um, what should happen the language of the application <sighs> sorry last time I did work to my too much at, at one of the client project mm haven't slept properly yet but okay let's motivate myself mm. now what I need what I need to do I need to I clicked on the language menu and then I need to get hold of menu names so how it works I'm using this command I'm getting then the menu list and then after doing such work list of click on checkboxes mm, but I need not the list of the click on language checkboxes but I rather need other stuff and I forgot to mention that I need that I have need to create a list of 
string which is a German menu list so basically this is what I need and doing such work um, let me just quickly yeah I know it's get crowding and I promise that I at some point I just I just need to I need one getter ah, okay so basically I need to write initializer of initializer for my for my local this kind of stuff I will use independently so I need to create get and set in my test for the German okay so basically I am creating the get and setter for my German I, I've done so and this is not enough I need to write this setter and let me just quickly do it in the right way I reading this code So I need to rewrite my method here. Init German menu list. Expected result English. Yeah. German menu list. And I am returning it like so. And now I need to put correct names into my code. Let me just quickly go and find it. So basically the same type of code and test procedure will go for other languages and those languages I will present only at the end. So let me just quickly copy the stuff. Okay okay so now I need to put correct menu descriptions and here I need to put uh, this so basically what I'm doing I am preparing the test So let me save it and now I prepare the stuff. I just need to copy this. Uh, all right and go back to the test. So I did click on the menu. I'm getting hold of a, a menu list after I'm actually updating, uh, getting the data from the view layer by doing such work. And of course, I need to 
I need to later I need to compare uh, two lists. So states where only one box is selected, it will basically go. I think let me just menu get ID. Yeah, basically I will use the same. Basically, I can reuse this method. I think state where only one box selected, menu list, click list of click on. Ah, okay. So it's for check boxes. Now I cannot reuse it, but I can get the idea of this code. Now, what should I do? I need to get hold of a language item menu and let me just quickly switch over to the scene builder so basically when I get the menu bar I need to get to the point where I have my language menu and iterate of the menu items of the menu language so how I, I how I should do it? Um, basically, for work with integer menu list, I need a list. Um, let me just quickly find this method. Okay, and so and here uh, I can copy this variable. Yeah, it gets crowded. Uh, it's not good. So here I need actually put something. Um, I don't know. I need to call this and then put the method. Just quickly write some code. Okay, so doing the right stuff, um, and here I'm expected result German menu list. But I need to get hold uh, of the menu. menu, menu names. So basically, I need to write here some for each loop. And I need, wait a second, I need actually look up some stuff so released ah okay so basically the part where I am iterating over the menu list observable yeah yeah it's kind of ugly code if you think about and I need to reuse in the way this code Basically, I need to reuse this code. What what does iterate over menu list menu menu with link check boxes? But 
So I'm passing here the menu and equals menu long. Wait a second, what is it? Ah, okay, here I have my language menu. And then I need, I need I get the list of the menus, and then I oh, okay. Let me just quickly copy the stuff because I can reuse this code. Yeah, it can be structured even better, I know, but for my case, I can work with this, and maybe later I will reuse this code so what should be done okay so I need to get hold of menu names basically I need this observable menu item list let's just put it here and I need stuff like this. And I need to to be able to find out with what kind of menu do I have it as uh, during this iteration. And then when I found my menu, which is menu menu long, here it is menu long. I need to get through all of the menus items here. And yeah, it basically goes almost in the same way, but so here I'm getting get items and and now I need to think menu language. So here I'm getting the get items and state where only one checkbox selected. Okay, now I don't need this code. And the reason why I'm doing so, test fix uh, as, as far as I know, does not provide any suitable way of getting access from, from the view layer. So, I need to iterate over the architecture of the inheritance of the of the FX application which I have here. So I'm getting the items from the menu long and now I need to just to iterate over just to iterate over. So basically I need to write for each once again. So here I have my menu items and this menu items like this menu item menu item menu item menu item and I just need to be able to store the result so when I call this expected result but now I need to declare a new string list actual result German menu list wait a second I just I just noticed some mistake in my procedure ah wrong 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 so basically yeah I forgot um by what I what I have forgotten. So here if you look up yeah for example this code I have my file and so on and so on. This is the main menu. So M don't need to go so far here, don't need this. I just need to get here so basically I need to get hold of menu main menus names
and then uh, make the, the comparison. Yeah. But uh, the idea is important. So let me just quickly overview what I'm getting. Get, get main menu bar test get menus. This is the list of menus and this is what I need actually where this is the place where I need to get the names of my menus. Now here I have expected list which I initialized and here I have my menu and here I need to initialize it too. So basically and now I just need to add uh, to this list actual names. Let me let me just look up okay let's just look it up so actual result German menu list I need to add to the list a menu in this what should it be? get text sure I need to get the text store it in my actual result German menu list and now I have populated two, two my lists and compare now I can compare the stuff so what how it will go I just need to write some if condition and here I need uh, expected result What type of uh, methods do I have? Remove is empty, contains. Turns through if, the, if this list contains a specified element. I think it is it should be equals. Compares the specified object with the list for equality. I hope it is uh, yeah we will see let me just write equals equals and then I just put actual menu list alright so now so if if this condition true then my actual result is true this is what I expect and then just run my test and let's hope it fails I need my failing test yeah it did fail it did fail why? because I did not change the menus after running all, running all of this. Now let's just switch over to my uh, controller. This is actually my application main menu controller and let's just think what I need to do. I need uh, actually open so this is what happens when I set on action event checkbox and menu item so basically need to update code in two places where I have my checkbox and where I have my menu item German two places and I just will write here um, call
go to menus. No, localize, localize, localize menus. <coughs> so, and how it will work? Well, I did found some code which I can reuse in my project. Here for, uh, no, let me just. This is an example how I can do that. Something something like like this. Application link. Okay, so I need to get used uh, to it. And here I define the local lo language of the local, and here I'm actually bundling it. And here I'm putting, yeah, here I'm actually setting. Let me just copy this code, and then I can reuse in my code. Now, in my case, I have my controller, and in my case, I I'm using select German checkbox, and the code. Yeah, I need to call to open this method. Okay. Select German checkbox and here I need to put some code. I'm thinking about how uh, how I can structure this load language. Uh, it's interesting. So I create a new local and let me just quickly in Java I have proper uh, list of my um, proper list of my language codes. Let me just Java localization supported locals. Yeah, I did found it. And put it back. So here I have different language tags which I can use in my project. So I just not sure Yeah, action event it will be called. So basically, I need to write this load link which method. Uh, this load language method will will set. Okay. So basically the problem is with structuring the code, not with understanding. And I just need to write the method. Okay, so basically yeah, let me just do it before here. So I'm writing private method. Private method load link 
and this is basically void private void method language and now I need to load this code um, string input language okay now what is local let's just give me some thoughts uh, local I have private local why it's called local I do not understand let me just quickly make an overview of this application uh, not suitable okay here it is application and here I have my Java fix application example Okay, so yeah, basically I think it is needed resource bundle. All right, so I just need to 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 take this stuff and just make sure that it is used here in the code. So, and I need to put my getter and setter for this. All right, so I getting. my input language string and I call resource bundle get bundle application long local and then I get string And then I call my uh, my stuff and bundle get bundle bundle get string. What it means? I'm co uh, okay. I'm getting from my bundle the 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 translation. So basically, let me just try to do it for my for only one language. But I will prefer to use here switch, uh, switch, uh, switch condition switch on input language. So case and then break. Now what I have here as a case let me just adjust the code so case uh, 
I just written here. No. Okay. German box. It tells it it calls up this and basically JR. Select select English checkbox. I think I will call this method after I'm after um, I made sure that I have properly selected my checkboxes. So basically, I put here this case German, and now I can work with my local new local language okay so here I need to initialize it and basically what I'm doing at the wrong place I need to do it when I have my initializer here Let me just look it up. It get crowded. I don't like it. Uh, new local language. Ah, okay. So I, I, I can only. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Now, basically here. At this place, I need to write my method. Mm. Okay, so I need to first. I need to hope it works. New local, and then I need to put what kind of local do I need, do I prefer? And this should be mentioned in my list. This is what I prefer. Yeah, I'm not so big familiar with a um, local Java class, but I think oh does uh, edit not needed signs. Okay, I have my local bundle. Okay, and then I need to initialize my bundle. Here it is. It saves. Finally, it saves. Okay, resource bundle, get bundle, application link. Let me just think of it. Okay, now in the next part, I'm not sure that it will get. Um, yeah, the problem with accessing the data. So what? How they solve the problem in the example? main controller I 
Ah, now I understand. So the local local basically gets uh, the path to the uh, get it can be complicated. Local should get uh, the path to the. Yeah, I'm not. I'm almost at one hour. Um, basically, I'm thinking about the pause, but uh, let me just quickly go over it. API application. So basically, I need to, to make sure that I can pass the path to the variable to the local. Okay, now I need to find local, local, uh, local. So what is local? How it is? How it works? Uh, I need to have a constructor. Constructor string language construct a local from a language code. Okay, but. Uh, how exactly it knows that I uh, mean the question is uh, the question is how it knows where it where the files are stored here at the class I don't have anything so here's basically nothing and here mm, I'm not sure let let's just find out through the test. If the test fails, then it fails. So basically, mm, let me just quickly look it up. Yep, yeah, nice one. So how it should work in my case? Um. I'm getting the language, I'm getting the bundle, and now I can actually write some code and set up all of my main menus, which I have in my class. So menu item, I did not, okay, so I did not, um, yeah, yeah, I didn't specialize it. I did not specialize because I did not have the need to do that. So let's just do that. A menu, a menu, menu file. Yeah, I need to do this here. private menu menu file add import from the java scene control menu and fxml private menu now it's start to have a boring part of the coding uh, menu edit And yeah, I know I'm almost at one hour. Sorry, guys, I'm a little slower today because my working schedule is kind of kind of tiring me. But I'm doing my stuff because it's all, all on contract. Uh, so basically, I need to set up my menu here, and here I just need to menu. File edit view. File edit view. File edit view link. File file edit view. And then I need to menu link. So basically it goes like this. File edit view link. Mm. 
then menu set receiver okay so it now given and I need to put even more get on set I and I don't like how the code becomes so large okay now it is all set up so I have my menu file edit view length file edit. one two three four five um, one two three four five wait a second do I have to ah, okay so forgotten menu help yeah I need to specify my menu help too six menu menu help add getter and setter okay now it's okay so here basically what I'm doing I'm creating my new local and I hope it it is um, it can basically I'm asking myself how it finds the way to my property files uh, sure I am working with the properties files in my main main view so basically here I get hold get long resources uh, but it gets only yeah get bundle ah now I understand resource bundle now I understand how it works So I have written this load language stuff. Uh, let me just close it down. Mm. Main view test. Main menu controller. Here it is. So my problem lies in getting out the language. basically application dot long what it does mean application dot long I don't understand the meaning application dot long what what does what does it represents string language string country show sure, but what this application dot long represents let me just quickly pause okay so after a while half an hour and I managed to write the test so let me just get it through um, you are actually looking at my fully functioning test uh, testing if if user selected German as a main menu language and here what happens um, user click on the language menu then he click on German language then I get the data from the updated view and 
yeah I'm uh, I am writing my expectations I'm creating array list with the uh, names of here I in, actually have this method here I have method which creates uh, the expected result and after doing so I get hold of a uh, actual result I'm getting the text from menus from the main menu and after that I put the text from the helper menu and then I compare expected value expected uh, expected list of menu names with the actual menu list which I got and if all of this is true then I return true if else then in, in any case it is it should be false so let me just quickly execute this test yep and all is correct and basically when I execute my POM Cool. <laughs> uh, this is for the first time I, I executed my uh, test ethics applications tests. So all tests running pretty 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 cool. Nothing did go. So all works pretty well. Now it's all about uh, cleanliness of my code. So this is probably better to actually make in one method like uh, refactor extract method this is this will be called the method um, initialize no get actual main menu names names actual names of menus name of men menus hope it is understandable what I am doing here let me just actually run this test Pass. Okay. So now, uh, what I need to do? Basically, I'm thinking about mm, simplifying some stuff. Um, I have a wish to actually to refactor this code because then I can re re reuse it. Uh, let me just try it out. Extract method. Uh, what basically I will do here I just need to like um, set up language for menu select for menu click Okay, so it basically it did. Ah, okay, so mm, my wish was actually to put input language like this, and I just need to take it out. Click on menu link, link return. 
and click on let me just cut it out this part this part Okay, now so basically and click operation click operation should happen actually I do not expect any value void Set up long unit and click. And click language. Click on input link. So basically, I'm trying to reuse the code. And this is what I'm actually because I want to, I want to, I want to test clicking on different kind of languages, and I need to change my methods accordingly. But I think this method should work. So I'm clicking on the menu language, and then I click on this previously previously uh, yeah previously selected language so let me just run it and hope it works yay it works pretty fine so basically in this case works pretty well and I will show you my menu, menu, main menu controller how I did solve the problem. So basically, how it works? I have my where is it? main main menu event. So basically, all events is are here, and I have only one operation which I execute from my initializer method. For the German language, it is it was pretty simple. Like, let me just pick it up. So here it is. Uh, yeah, here it is. For example, so I call my method. I'm selecting and call my method select German checkbox. Here I call the method select only checkbox, but you see I have new method load language lang and then I pass my language to this method and this method make a, another selection for the translation and I have written universal localized main menu method the class main menu method consists of different kind of other methods but most important thing this allows me to switch my language uh, with only one method so I don't need to write a method like for repeating myself for many times so it's a basically universal stuff and here I passing through where is my language files and here is my um, place where I pick up my language files and then through these methods I setting accordingly uh, each of the elements in main menu to the appropriate translations and I basically uh, did refactor some code here you see I just yeah, done it in, in such a way that is more or less understandable but you see a lot of code and with all of getters 
pretty. I need to stop to. I need to stop to write to the main menu control. Uh, um, the, so my menu menu control should be less modified. And on this stuff, I will say it's basically. I, I should think about what will happen next because next I need to create the forms for my tables because I need to pass my data to the tables and then work with additional elements in these tables but it will be like like this um, main menu controller probably don't need to talk to my uh, to talk to my another controllers but I will basically need to research this um, issue I'm not a front-end developer so for me it's all, all new with working with the front-end but you see it is possible to, to make it clean less or I will say more or less but before I conclude this coding session I will pause and write tests for other languages so basically need to check it that my foreign languages like Ukrainian or Russian can be chosen too and that they all works as I expect but basically more important stuff was here to, to write methods which uh, get the data from my property files and set, it, set up my control elements in my UI pro accordingly so yeah I will be back in one second okay finally 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 I'm so happy about it so basically now I can run all of my tests let me just quickly run each test separate so now I'm testing if a German was selected and this goes for English English can be selected yeah I need to, to choose another language then I choose language English and the same goes for Ukrainian language it's basically always the same scheme it's always the same scheme and okay so now now it goes like this and I can actually run all of my tests it looks in like this okay so I have many test cases for default for not default but when I go to my program let me just quickly close it and go to my main view and go to Java application and then just pick the language you see all language menu is translated and when I pick another language it is translated to the appropriate language and the same happens when I choose another language and when I pick English it is as default for English and basically yeah when I have to start my whole test which I have here let me just quickly change it uh, from the XML run as let me just before I run I forget always to delete XML outer yeah delete it so basically now right now can test my application and this is what about test driven development you can always check your stability of your application and now I run my tests
Okay, success. So, I conclude this session with another successful implementation of one of many features of my application. And see you soon. I hope it, it will happen soon. So, bye-bye. Thank you.